All right, real quick here, I have a six, uh, Texas Star 667 here that I've uh, had for a little while now that uh, needed some uh, pretty extensive re repair, and somebody had just <laughs> pretty much blew the living snot out of it, to be honest with you. And I had to put uh, four pills in here, and uh, let's see who that is, in the 21 there. Call them back. Um, they are different lot pills, but they uh, they do match. Just to go ahead and and uh, let you know that. But uh, I had to replace a good bit of stuff in here. Just to point out, I had to replace both combiners, uh, the 27 ohm here, the 10 ohm here, the 75 ohm here. Pretty much the whole bias circuit, uh, both 10 and uh, micro Henry inductors, key and circuit. Um, um, the first DC block filter cap, the last DC block filter cap, um, all four of the feedback circuits. I don't think there's even any on it. Uh, two new 10 ohms. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You can tell somebody had replaced this, uh, driver transistor you can just tell by the way it was put back it ain't the prettiest thing in the world the way they put it back but uh had to replace the bulb on the front power didn't have no lights there went ahead and did my solder job to the tabs as i usually do with every texas star and i had to put uh brand new 330s on all the uh uh c dash b uh, collector base and uh, that should, should be about it. There might be one or two other small things. But anyway, go ahead and let you know it's not the highest output 667 by no means that I've uh, had come through here. So uh, it isn't going to be a powerhouse or anything. It's just going to be uh, pretty much delivering around four or 500 watts. It doesn't appear that it's going to be performing the, uh, well, I take that back. It's all about your meter, just on here on the birds right here. That's all I can speak of. Now you might see your 600 plus uh, 700 watts on your dozies. I'm not uh, quite sure about that. I know, I know it usually shows a little more on the dozy, but just to show you everything right here, I'm just going, you know, just give it to you completely, you know, completely truthful. It's not a power, powerhouse of any sort or like that. It's just a, a kind of a low grade 667. Is how it's performing. All right, we're going to use the bench radio, which we're going to be driving four watts RMS into it. Okay, I'm just going to be doing high settings here. My phone's about to die here, so I'm just going to leave the uh, the green button out. Okay, we're just going to go high full bore at all times. All right, we're on the thousand watt slug. Okay. I'll let you see RMS first. We're on uh, uh, 14.2 volts. The battery's dead over there. Oh, yeah. It's about 150 RMS. Switch over to peak. Oh, yeah. It's about 4, 4, 4, 10. 400, 410 watts. Let's see the front meter there. Oh, yeah. So you can even see the front meter there is indicating that it's only doing right there about half power there, just relative. All right. And we're going to double our input power. We're going to go from driving 8 watts RMS. I mean, we're going to go from driving 4 watts RMS to 8. Let you see, there ain't much of a change, but there is a little change. All right. Let's turn that off. Pick this up. All right. We're on still. We'll go ahead and do the PEP first. Oh, yeah. That's right there about 480 watts. Just shy of 500. We'll go on the RMS here. Oh, yeah. And as you see, it's pretty much performing like a real, like a strong two pill. <laughs> That's just what she's doing. So, it is open for a little bit of fine tuning to a, another do-it-yourselfer or a technician. 
I'm just selling it as it is, a low grade 667. Like I said, I'll go ahead and glue that down right there. And uh, like I said, I've done a lot of work to it. And I'm sure somebody's going to ask me, what would you personally do to this amplifier yourself? If this was my amp, my amp personally, I would convert it to a 500 and just do away with this driver circuit. I hate dealing with these driver circuits and these 667s. And I can just pretty much go ahead and tell that that's probably 8 out of 10 is the reason why the uh, amplifier isn't performing to its full par of at least 667 watts is uh, this driver circuit. So if it was mine, that's what I would do. And if I had more time, I would actually have done that to this, then sell it. But I don't have time, so there you go. Okay, keep her set it off the eBay it goes. Peace.